All right, so I've coated uh, the top of the leg here with the um, that sealant, and I'm gonna lower it on. It, here's the, the 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 shifting shaft or whatever you want to call it, and you'll note that there are two bolts, one underneath the stop nut on the bottom and the top. I uh, when I put the lower this down, I'm gonna take the top one off, and that one stays there just for adjusting um, that interlock. So one of the challenges is getting down these little tight spaces. You can see right down here I've got to tighten these big let me get this out of the way, but these bolts that hold the uh, power head on, some of them they can reach fine and then, then there's others that you reach from underneath and you put nuts on those. But uh, yeah, the, in order to get some of these I don't have one of those nice universal ratchet uh, extensions that can spin so I've gone and taken a wrench and just bent it out of shape so I can especially get these ones that are like underneath uh, down in here just uh, again because it's a little tricky with this uh, part of the uh, frame in the way anyways well I went ahead and decided to do it I've taken out this uh, air intake to make room and not only that I took out the interlocker lever arm as well again that I'd already put in so I could access those those bolts more readily underneath and tighten them up. So that's what I'm talking about. This one right here is near impossible to get at with uh, with um, the interlocker lever arm in the way. So I've taken that out, and with with the uh, air intake taken out here, I can access this much easier. So I'll be able to put this back in no problem. But uh, see, there's the lower nut, and now I'm going to take this nut and put it on the top of the interlocker lever here so it's going to go right there on top of that so I'm going to do that now and that's for adjusting the the shifting shaft there throwing this wiring harness on here and uh, there's these three screws that um, that actually hold the um, crankshaft cover front cover here so um, you'll notice that the rest of them are black I, I thought I lost them but uh, they were um, because the rest are black, but I marked, I did actually mark them. So make sure again you mark anything that's different with tape or whatever. All right, so I'm just throwing on the exhaust cover port here and uh, I tighten these, to, uh, I couldn't find the specific, but the standard measurement was 70 inch pounds. So got all the screws here and I'm gonna about to cover the, I should have done this, put this on before I dropped it, it down onto the leg because I can't even fit my uh, torque wrench down here. Can't, won't fit in here to uh, get the, uh, right torque on these lower ones as the cowlings in the way. All right it's that time to put the cylinder head on and I've got my new head gasket and uh, one thing to note um, of importance of course is like you look at different manuals here they have a certain sequence and order of uh, what um, how to tighten them on uh, each bolt and uh, then you want to take each bolt and you take the first three quarters of an inch of it and use some anti put some anti seize on it um, before you put it in. And then basically, as you tighten it in there, you're going to put it, uh, put the cylinder head and tighten it. And you're going to go uh, 75 inch pounds for each of them in that order. And then you're going to go in 50 inch pound increments up to 225 uh, inch pounds, is the uh, final. Um, um, inch pound specification for the cylinder head but again just following that order very carefully as you do it. The cylinder head is on it was a little tedious but uh, it's all torqued to 225 inch pounds to spec and I took my time and did it in 50 inch pound increments starting at 75 so there we are and now we'll be on to uh, the reed uh, cover and uh, where the carburetor goes on and all that kind of stuff. So there's of course the gaskets that will uh, the carburetors will be attached to and on the back here that's going to be attached into the uh, the power head is the uh, these are the reeds um, and you can inspect them and there these ones are all looking good there those little tabs inside underneath those metal plates there's uh, four sets of them one for each cylinder and uh, all the reeds look good once again you can see here there's a whole bunch of screw bolts that need to be going on here to hold this on and uh, once again, there were some specialized 
places, like uh, on the top, not only does it hold on the reed uh, cover, whatever you want to call it, but also there was this, uh, the timing mark here on this, the top, that was, uh, so I kept the screws with it, and then there was this um, component down here that went below and it's got uh, that on it and stuff, and that'll all become clear about what, what its purpose is later on, but you can see it has, it goes into those two holes on the bottom there, below the bottom carburetor. So I'm going to attach this all on. Take note that there's four that are a little longer and that's because um, there's an extra um, depth of plate here where the automatic choke uh, holds on. So that's why these ones are, they have four of them that are a little longer here to hold than the, uh, the ones on the, um, the rest of it. So the next thing I'm going to do is put on the uh, transfer port covers and the cylinder drain covers. And uh, I've got gaskets for all those, and I'll be uh, putting them all together. And I've kind of got them over here. Well, I, I in fact, really do have them over here. And they're kind of linked together by the hoses. Got the fuel uh, filter and things like that going on uh, on those transfer ports and stuff like that. So, yeah, I've kind of taped things together. I've, I've labeled which one goes where and uh, taped parts of importance together. And, and then also took pictures to show where they're supposed to go. So. I'm not left guessing um, when I put it back together. Can't stress enough again, take pictures with your smartphones while you're doing this. You'll see that there's assortment of different sizes of screws here and stuff, so be careful. Make sure you get the right depth of screws. Alright, so there's the gaskets for the uh, stuff I'm about to install there, the cylinder drain and the port cover there. So bearing cage on top here and uh, I'm going to take some of my sealant and uh, and just basically put it around the edge um, not not where it um, sinks down there onto the uh, bearing but on the uh, yeah the section there where you can see just a, um, bordering the red where the screw holes are I'm just uh, we put uh, these two things on here you can see I've got that part on on top of the main bearing cage and uh, you know which way it's oriented because that comes and sticks onto that part there sorry I don't have time to go look up all the names here but you can at least get a visual the linkage there and uh, okay now we're putting that down there and I know that this comes down here because on this side of the engine because the starter goes here I have pictures that I've taken of these two uh, green wires with the white stripes going down here and I'll put them in the right place later but right now I got these four bolts here I'm going to tighten them on to these uh, these holes here back underneath when I put the bearing cage on there's a seal in the middle that goes on the crankshaft and that's supposed to be replaced and put in a new seal in there so make sure when you order all your gaskets to order that seal it uh, goes in there okay so we just uh, fasten the, I don't know what those are, solenoids I guess, I don't know, for the spark plugs anyways, and all this wiring harness stuff, and uh, coming out of it, there is this ground that's going to go in there, so Randy, you can go ahead and put that on, and then to make sure, I did make pictures of this earlier, that coming out of the top of that, and wrapping around under the starter, and over to here, two of these are going to attach somewhere over here, and I do have the picture of that, so I'll get that right when I, it comes time to put that on. Okay, I've just placed the starter in here and uh, attached the positive. It's going to be tightened up there in a second. These go on here in this ground. It uh, goes back on from over here. It uh, wires on to here, and I'll just tighten these all up. So these starter through bolts here are uh, torque, going to be torqued at 95 to 100 inch pounds. So we're going to do that now. Okay, I got these two major ground wires here, and they're just going to mount onto this. Uh, ground bolt here on the uh, power head. So we're just going to tighten that bolt to 160 inch pounds, that grounding bolt. 